This morning we're going to be educated on digital eye strain and technology's impact on your eye health. Now, of course, you do spend a lot of hours in front of a computer because of the nature of work these days. And if it, even if it's not a computer, for example, students, uh, laptops are your everyday usage. And then if you're not a student, uh, for every one of us generally, we are on the phone. Uh, I, I, I want to say some people, I'll say myself inclusive, I go to bed on a phone and I wake up on the phone and the light, the comes in from that phone at that time of the day and the constraints it brings about it brings about so many challenges now one of them of course is strain to your eyes uh, some of you may probably have experienced headaches uh, prolonged headaches they come back every single day like but every single day I'm having a headache and you take a painkiller every single day not knowing that it's really a matter of the digital era that we are in that is causing uh, detriment to our health especially optical health now I am joined by Jacqueline to give us a more understanding about this degenerating eye strain uh, very much so and uh, what is causing it and if there's a, a remedy uh, for that matter. Good morning to you Jacqueline. Good morning to you Priscilla. So tell us more about you and where you're coming from this morning. Uh, first and foremost, good morning NTV viewers. I'm Jacqueline Rabanerao. I'm an optometrist at La Pair Glasses Uganda. I'm so glad to be invited here at NTV this morning. Okay. And today we are going to be sharing about uh, the impact of technology on the eye, on eye health. First of all, um, that one would term it as digital eye the strain, or we can also call it a uh, DVS, digital vision syndrome. Oh, you have made it so medical. Digital yeah. vision syndrome. syndrome. Okay, yes. tell us how does that work? Uh, it is a collection of a uh, number of uh, eye problems, mm -hmm. uh, characterized with eye strain, uh, headaches, um, muscle spasms, dryness of the eye. They can get red, watery, and really so irritated and irritating to you, you, you the person. And that is the digital vision syndrome. Okay, so are we trying to say that uh, technology is the main cause of this syndrome or the eye strain? And if so, how exactly does it come about? What nature of environments are we referring to here? Exactly. According to, to statistics, you'll find that at least one in uh, every four people you get, they have challenges with their vision. Not necessarily refractive errors, but uh, some of them just have these... Um, these eye strains caused by these digital devices just because of the era we are in right now Priscilla we are exposed to a number of digital devices and these devices produce what we call the blue light and these blue lights are really a serious hazard to our eyes in the long run another thing is a uh, the way we use our devices these days is not right. Mm -hmm. So in the long run, these digital devices have been so, 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 so hazardous to our eyes for the rest. Okay, we, uh, we respect the fact that they are good, they've helped, they've simplified life, but in the long run, we've ignored the fact that they are causing a negative impact to our eyesight. Okay, Yeah. all right. So how long would it take one? how much exposure would one have to go through to actually then arrive at what you have uh, uh, termed as a visual syndrome, digital visual syndrome? Actually, for all people who are exposed to these uh, digital devices for over four hours a day, actually I advise them to seek medical attention. <laughs> <laughs> I advise them to wow. seek medical attention. Yeah. At least if you spend four hours a day on a, a digital device, and that includes our phones because ideally we do not use them at the normal distance. Mm -hmm. Normally they are too close. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Some of these devices are too far away. Mm -hmm. So as long as you know you're exposed to these devices for over four hours a day, you are actually advised to seek medical attention or advised. It may not be necessarily... You know, but at least this ad device can help us uh, move to a better step or know about okay, our let, step. Let, let's bring this home, um, Jacqueline. I, I sit on a desktop mm. um, and it has light brightness to 100% mm. and then also the lettering or the calligraphy mm -hmm. that is being used mm. <laughs> or that is uh, uh, default to this device sure. is I'm sure also does affect uh, and lead maybe to eye strain at the end of the day. So 
exactly what would be the remedy for someone like that who is going to take long to decide to come to Lapel uh, for an eye checkup, but they have to deal with that every single day for more than four hours that you have mentioned. Yeah, okay. That is, um, you're asking me to give some remedies or how a person can counteract this? Yes. Yeah. Ah, sure. Okay, first and foremost, the very first and uh, important thing is, you know, unless you're told something, you can never know what it is. So, uh, first and foremost, can we hold our devices at the right distance? What's the For right For example, distance? if we are watching a TV, this TV should be placed right ahead of us, uh, uh, normally at uh, eye level. The topmost bit of the TV should be at eye level or slightly below the eye level. Uh, anything beyond that, or oh, should it be so far away, also down leads to eye strain because the muscles are strained for you to focus and to see very well at the TV. Secondly, the extreme brightness like this one inside here is also too, 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 too hazardous to our eyes. It's and an occupational hazard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm emphasizing on that so much. Okay, uh, the screen brightness is also an issue. Then the uh, time you spend on this device matters so much. That is why I bring to us the 2020 rule. This one I love to explain, Priscilla. Uh, it says that uh, for every 20 minutes you spend on a digital device, like focusing on a digital device, you have to take off 20 seconds and try to focus at something 20 feet away. Ah, ah. that's the 2020 rule. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So 20 minutes on the digital device, then take off 20, 20 seconds, seconds to focus uh, on something, something else that is 20 feet away. This will give us chance to blink. Oh. This will give us chance to have uh, the eye movements at least, you know. You know right. when it is here, the eye is really accommodating. And then at least when you try to look at something far away, the accommodation is broken. So blinking is that Blinking important. is very important because ideally when you're focusing so much on the, uh, on the screen, the eye will it's get strange. dry. Yeah. The eye will get dry because uh, blinking helps us at least to moisten the eye. So... Uh, if we focus for so long, the eye will dry up. It will get <laughs> irritating, and then <laughs> that strange <laughs> rule will help us. Okay. The other thing is uh, going for the regular checkups. For us at Life Hair, these checkups are free of charge. We do not charge anyone for consultation. Even if you have no problem, you can always pass by. We do this for you. We check you up. We don't only end up uh, checking up and diagnosing. Uh, we also do the health talks. At least I would always advise this to the patients. So, what do you consider a regular uh, eye checkup? Regular eye checkups, at least once every year. Once every year, especially now for these people who have underlying problems, for example, diabetes, hypertension, these infectious diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, such people, they need to do these checkups regularly because, of course, these have effects on the eye. Okay, uh, so the bigger question is, is mm. it curable? Uh. The digital vision syndrome, is it curable? Ah, yeah. curable because it is just a syndrome. Uh, it is characterized by uh, just this discomforting, you know. So what we do is we just have to try as much as possible to protect ourselves from this. Uh, the bad thing we can do is getting the photochromic <laughs> blue blocking, blue light blocking lenses. Eh? Mm. Uh, that can give us at least a longer. It is kind of longer remedy because, of course, when I have my blue light blocking lenses on, uh, it helps me to block these blue lights from these digital devices. Okay. By the way, Priscilla, I would like to, uh, to uh, inform these people that blue lights are not only from the digital devices, but also from the sun. Really? Uh-huh. Wow, this is news to me. Uh, also oh. from the sun. All right. That one, of course, many people didn't know, yeah. but also from the sun. So when we have these blue light blocking lenses at, uh, at, um, at La Pea, we call them photochromic blue light blocking lenses. Okay. 
All they right. help us at least in the long run because at least a person will get used to having them on. And what I have also to emphasize is that these glasses do not have any effect on the eyes. Mm. The only issue is go and be tested and be given the right prescription, which tests we shall do free of charge. Okay, mm. all right. So now uh, you have entrusted someone to actually maybe say, uh, I, I would like to have an eye checker because that's the kind of environment, working conditions uh, for them presently, more than four hours on digital devices. Mm. And so how can they be able to reach out to you? Ah, I'll give my, I'll, I'll give the number, the company number. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever wants to get to us as La Pair, they will always get to us through that number. Okay. Yeah, the number is 0709. 74 47 yeah. 47 75 let me just confirm that now 0709 ah, let me confirm that number here 0709 Okay. All right. Uh, we'll definitely share the, uh, the information, but I'm sure you can find them on social media, mm. La Pair uh, Glasses, and they'll be able to sort you out. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for having been with us and enlightening us about these uh, working conditions that we are faced with daily, but we do not make the right uh, steps to correct some of these things that we engage in. And she's given us one of those corrective measures uh, for those of you that are in front of a screen every single day. Uh, for every 20 minutes, just just step away from the device and then take off 20 seconds and in those 20 seconds uh, find an object that is 20 feet away from you focus on it and that way you will have corrected something well thank you so much that's all we've had for you on morning at ntv wednesday's edition until we meet again tomorrow morning 6 30 keep yourself safe especially for your eyes